so here we have the plate. I just undid these, so don't worry about this side, but this side did open up when we were shooting it. I mean, I'd say this did a pretty good job of catching most of the stuff, honestly. That piece is freaking sharp as frick. It was caught in the second layer. I mean, there's jacket like literally everywhere. Honestly, did pretty good. There's like a few pieces, I think. Okay, here's the front. This is the back. Well, here's MA-55, right, literally right here. Just click on there. So everything went through this.
48 layers. I think these are two different materials. One of them is the core, I think. Look, they're like welded together. Caught all of this, plus whatever else is still in here. So, pretty effective. Nothing really came out the sides. Sewing's intact. And there's only like a couple pieces that came out. But, I don't think it would have been going that way. It probably would have just came right back out. So this worked out pretty good. This is the front layer. Eighth inch AR500 steel. Um, I have no clue where my Sharpie is at some reason for a second. All right. Two, two, three, ball ammo right here, M855 and then, or M855A1, then M855, the front and the back. Ball ammo, M855A1, M855. Let's show the back. Rolling this backwards. Ball ammo. M855A1. M855. I don't think the ball ammo went through. I think it just cracked the back. Something like this piece. I don't think it was this piece exactly, but something poked out and ripped the back of the carrier, which it shows uh, in the video when I did the close up afterwards. So, and then I think when the MA55A1 came through, it just ripped, broke all of it. But it did stop the MA55. So. I assume would have stopped this also. It was going like 100 feet per second faster though, so. Just the back. And yeah. So, in conclusion, I don't really know. What would we change here? I think the most obvious thing to change would be this, the 7075 aluminum. I knew it was brittle, but it was a bit more than I expected. 
So I think this would perform a lot better if it was in between two materials instead of at the back. That way, when it does crack, the material doesn't just, you know, fall out or something. Because if it's in between two materials, even if it does crack, it's going to basically stay exactly where it's at. Because they're going to be glued together. And I think the hardness of this material would have done a lot better as like an addition to the strike face. So I think to improve this, probably just make this thinner and put it in front of the polyethylene instead of behind it and then just add more polyethylene. I still don't think it would stop M855-81 though. So, maybe I have to get, maybe. Because if I go from point nineteen to an eighth of an inch. We're losing point zero six five. I don't know how much that would weigh, but it could probably give us quite a bit more polyethylene, honestly. I think if I could add like half of this to it, I have 0.35. So if I could do it like, I don't know, add 0.17 or something more, reduce this down to an eighth of an inch, and then keep the same strike base. If I could get a harder strike face, that'd be better also, but so yeah, it's basically what I've deduced from this. You guys can comment what you think would help this. Besides ceramic, there's no ceramic in this build. The whole point was to not have any ceramic. So do not suggest ceramic. I should have shot, I'm sure I probably shot this more, especially to confirm this hit regular ball ammo to see if it went through but it was like 117 out so didn't want to stay there for very long uh, so yeah that's the video let me know what you think of this plate what you would change but you wouldn't change how uh, we can improve it. I probably, I think I might make a series of recreating like different, like professionally made plates. So, but uh, just like cheaper and with materials that I can get. So if you have like a, a actual plate that you bought from an actual company that you would I don't know, maybe you want to see me replicate. I could probably turn that into a series. Recreating different plates. Because I, I base this off a of plate, A3 plate by Armored Republic. You can look it up. I think it's like $400. And then I have this plate, my, my homemade hyperline. So I've essentially already made two plates 
based on existing plates. So if you want to see this into a series maybe, uh, let me know. Otherwise, we're just gonna move on to the next project I have lined up, which is the um, HDP, HDPE and ballistic nylon laminate with the ceramic strike base. I have to get a tile cutter though before I can do that. So yeah, 